morning guys uh, so brick cleaning today uh, yeah so um, I've been called in to remove uh, loads of ivy tendrils off some brickwork about half an hour away from Cambridge beautiful sunny day today absolutely lovely um, right so let's show you round what I'm cleaning so they've just had uh, this felt replaced on this concrete um, roof concrete porch roof and um, they've left a, lot, left a load of dust behind on the bricks so I'm just going to wash that down for them weirdly I've just had a look at that section there and the customer is of the opinion that it could be paint but I've just got up there on my ladder and um, I've just felt it with my hands and it's the brick has been smoothed off those bricks are quite rough to touch those bricks where they it looks like the, it, it could be paint it looks like they've been grinded or something like that I don't really know it's it's a strange one but uh, I don't really think it is paint I don't think that's going to change I'm going to give it a wash see what happens but uh, I'm not optimistic um, it's definitely a different consistency to, than to the rest of the brick right so a little bit of ivy tendril remains up there uh, but the main area is here so I'll get up close so I mean you may be able to see it but there you go that's that's what I've got to get off and that is all over the brickwork down here so yeah that's what I'm doing today um, right uh, one thing I'm going to point out is I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up now sometimes on videos like this where other pressure washer companies are working from the bottom and working way up I see a lot of people start it's not abuse but they they sort of get a bit annoyed saying oh you're not working properly it's more efficient to work from the top to the bot sorry top to the bottom but in a lot of cases it really is irrelevant it doesn't matter because it's all going to get rinsed down at the end so it, working from top to bottom bottom to top it's up to the user it all gets a final rinse down at the end anyway so it doesn't really matter so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing anyway so um uh i'm going to do this wall first just to see how it comes off because a lot of the time you can just do it with steam or superheated water which is more accurate um but uh sometimes you might need to add uh, a bit of hypo to soften it up uh, and get it off the bricks easier hopefully that's not going to be the case but fingers crossed so yeah i'm going to do that wall first just to see how it comes off then i'm going to get up on the uh the flat roof there um uh, put my scaffold up and do that section there so up to about there sorry up to about there and then set my scaffold up here so that's the job okay so i'm sort of half set up already so I just need to connect a couple of other things and then now I'm ready to go. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, so um, I've just done a quick test sample on this lower section there and it's coming off a tree. So no chemical, which is great news for me because it means I can get it done a lot quicker. Happy days. Right, I'm gonna set the camera up and we'll get recording.
okay, I've had to stop because, like an idiot, I've got to turn the tap back on so that I've just run out of water. Um, anyway, that's refilling now. Um, I'm going to get the ladder up against the wall. Um, I've already got some uh, protective ply on the roof so not to damage the felt. I'm going to take the scaffold up there, get set up and start up there now. Love it when it's all going to plan because it doesn't always work out like that. Nice, simple job this one. Anyway, let's stop talking and get this set up.
guys. So I've just got to have a rinse down. Uh, rinse the roof down, rinse down here down. Um, but once I've done that, I'm completely done. Um, so all the tendrils have come off lovely. Uh, this bit here, I've had a good look. I'll show you. That is definitely not paint. That, if I feel the bricks here, they're really rough, they're coarse. There, really smooth. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to, I have no idea why that is. To me, it looks like uh, someone's got at it with a grinder and a nylon pad. Because uh, it doesn't feel like sandblasting, because I do that, and it, it doesn't ever feel that smooth. Um, but I don't understand why that patch there has been, um, I just don't, I just, it's, it's baffling, I have no idea why it's like that. The customer thinks it's paint, that's definitely not paint. I did bring some paint stripper with me, but there's no, I'm not going to apply paint stripper to that because it's 100% not paint. Um, I'll just explain to him that I, what I think it might be, that someone's just gone at it with a grinder. But uh, yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Very strange. Okay, anyway, let's have another quick walk about for the rest of it. Right there. Yeah, lovely. Do a little bit of rinsing down below and I am done. See you on the next one guys.